This is a CBS News special report. I'm Jim Axelrod at CBS News headquarters in New York. Good morning. For the first time, an Ebola patient has died in the United States. The Dallas hospital treating Thomas Eric Duncan announced that he died this morning. He was 42 years old. Duncan came to the United States from Liberia nearly three weeks ago. Let's bring in Dr. John LaPook right now. Uh, doctor, this looked like, like a case of there was very little that could be done for Mr. Duncan. Well, we heard in recent days that he was on dialysis. That means his kidneys had failed. He had a breathing tube, so with problems with his lungs. And this is typical for the end stage of Ebola, where you have all the organs failing because there's not enough blood flow initially. There's severe diarrhea. And this virus is so insidious because it does two things when it invades. It turns off your own immune system, and at the same time, it sets up a huge inflammatory response that makes the whole body really go into disrepair. So when when we hear reports coming out of the hospital, perhaps there was a, a small sign of progress. Well, you know, it's hard to know exactly without being there. I mean, I think one of the things is that supportive therapy, which is giving intravenous fluids and giving uh, clotting factors and things like that, can be helpful if given right away. Now, don't forget, there was a four-day delay between when he got sick on the 24th and he actually was admitted to the hospital on the 28th. Who knows? It's speculation whether that made a difference. I think that it's very interesting right now. There are a bunch of therapies that are coming out. There are medications to treat it by interfering with the way the virus replicates, and there are some vaccines, so we're going to have to hope for that. What is the takeaway for the American public now that will hear this news in terms of their understanding of the threat? Okay, I think that with more and more uh, cases in Africa, we're going to see individual cases in the United States. However, that's not the same as an individual outbreak. We, the CDC and everybody else is telling us we have the technology to stop it in its tracks. I do think, though, as we're hearing with uh, breakdowns in protocol, that we need to beef up our ability to follow protocols. And specifically, as cases start to go into emergency rooms, I think you're going to have to see that people know how to put on and take off that protective equipment. But individual cases do not equal outbreak. That's exactly right. Dr. John LaPook, thanks very much. To repeat, Thomas Eric Duncan, the first person diagnosed with Ebola in the United States, has died. There will be much more about this on your local news on this CBS station, online at cbsnews.com, and tonight on the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. For now, I'm Jim Axelrod, CBS News in New York. Good day. For news 24 hours a day, go to cbsnews.com.